what we're up to today. We're going to go temple hopping. And the first location is Wat Shedi Dewa. Welcome to Wat Shedi Luang. I didn't realize how big it was. It's you know, ostrich, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought this was it. And I was trying to figure out what to do and how to enter. And then I was walking towards the back and this is pretty epic, man. So around the, the Wat itself, there are other small attractions that you can visit. But the Wat itself, no longer you can get access to. What we can do is we can offer something uh, in the form of sprinkling some water which is what they do on the zip line here just sprinkle a little bit of water on that finished up with this temple we are uh, next stop is gonna be what shang what shang mad what shang ma got a nice little map here um so that's where we were ah that's bloody hot I guess we're making our way up to around this area. Look at that, sick. Made it to what number two. And we're at what Shang Man. It's pretty far walk. I was sweating mad. That's pretty cool. Must admit, inside is amazing too. Beautiful crystals in the statue. Right, temple number two done. There was a there was a couple that asked me if I could take their their photo in front of the temple. I, I did it for them, obviously. Then I just had to say, yeah, yeah. If you if you're wondering if this why those photos are so good, it's like if I'm actually a wedding photographer, and I gave them my business card, so I'll be booking their wedding. <laughs> Actually, it did not happen. I wish it had happened. Next what is going to be about half an hour away. If I find a nice place to eat, I am definitely stopping by. Let's get into your So I'm going to have lunch. Mm. This is the best meal I've had on the trip. I'm having this every day. There's no good without it. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna be paying top dollar at a place like that. I didn't realize I walked into a villa. So assuming it is like a hotel villa, they bump their prices up, oh, that I noticed anyway. But I went up to get to the counter and it was 230 baht. That's nothing. Oh, see, it's the best meal that I've had in a very long time. I devoured that, like, I left like a little bit of sauce left in that bowl. Onto this third one. So I picked this, this list just off doing my own research and I just wanted ones that look aesthetically nice so they the the locations are scattered all over the place you could organize a route on your own that's more of like a circle loop I'm kind of going in like a bloody zigzag and yeah this isn't a top four the best of the best listing like it's just what I picked and I and it works out well for me and so far they're 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 amazing. Almost there. I just passed this cafe and I'm so tempted. Can't be playing with cats while we're having oh this sounds like the best thing man. <laughs> I'm walking away. No, I wanna do the other cat place. The one with, with heaps of cats in it. We don't have coffee there though. I must have been in complete bliss when I was experiencing this final temple because I completely forgot to log. My experience, which is really interesting, I was wondering my, where my head was at at this point. Probably thinking about when I was going to visit that ca cafe for that evening. Anyway, that was a wrap up for my temple experience and I was making my way to the markets. Don't exactly know where I'm at. I'm assuming the markets. Oh. Uh, I was just trying to figure out, I mean, it's gotta be this way. This place is wild. I think it's split up into two buildings, separate levels, but the way you get up the levels, I'm, I'm lost. I, I don't know if I started on this one, went to the other one, went to this one. But yeah, I have no idea where I am. 
why I decided to go up those stairs <laughs> beyond me. Oh man, that was too hard. So we just finished the markets. I think it's open at night as well. I think it's the night bazaar as well. Didn't get anything, just looking at the prices, but everything's pretty, this, pretty much the same thing, just on repeat with different prices. So just did a few laps. But yeah, probably won't buy anything until the night markets on Sunday. Market was, it wasn't my thing. Markets are just not my thing. I'm just going there to purchase a few things and then I'm out of there. I needed to get like some Muay Thai shorts. So I definitely something that I want to head out and grab at some other time soon. Maybe I've done too much walking already. I was going to head over to the uni and scout the area, but it actually looks like there's a storm coming in. So heavy rains. I'm going to stay in um, just go around the main area again try to look for something to actually eat i definitely want to head out and get photos with the cats at that cat play area i don't even think you have a coffee there it's just chilling out with the cats all right this is new so it's entry and drink uh yes please you have the all right so um this one the first package oh it's right here so the drink right here please oh here awesome Finished up the evening at Mali Cat Cafe, which is in the Niman area. So if you're making your way to Chiang Mai, Niman is basically the modern spot where the malls are. And you have this cat cafe just opposite the road of the main mall there. So if you don't have cats and want to experience cats, you know, walking on your laptop and pushing stuff off your table, this is an amazing experience to have a trial with some of the best cats in the world. It was a really amazing experience. I, I just obviously, obviously I sat down and, and played with these cats for like an hour, maybe more. And it wasn't the last time that I was there. I was there another two times and just quite happy to just sip my coffee and just chill out with these cats. They're just, they're just hilarious. Loved it. One hour later. I spent an entire hour in that place just sipping coffee and chilling with the cats. I could do that every day after some dinner. And I reckon that's a night for me, eh?